Hi everyone, I'm Anton from University of Maryland College Park. Today I'll be presenting our work towards improved room impulse response estimation for speech recognition. This work is done during an internship at Meta. The reversion effects in an audio recording depends on the acoustic environment in which the audio is recorded. For example, the way we hear a speech signal in a small room is significantly different from the way we hear the same speech signal in an auditorium. First, I'll play a speech signal from a small room. Well, so are boys, and we all wish you success. Now, I'll play the same speech signal from an auditorium. Well, so are boys, and we all wish you success. We can hear significant difference in the reversion effects from a speech signal in a small room and from an auditorium. The reversion effects corresponding to the acoustic environment is characterized by a transfer function known as room impulse response. We can see that the room impulse response function corresponding to a small room is significantly different from the room impulse response from an auditorium. If we know the room impulse response function for a given acoustic environment, we can augment reverent speech corresponding to the same acoustic environment by convolving any clean speech with the room impulse response. In practical scenarios, voice assistant devices like Amazon Echo or Meta Portal are placed in a fixed indoor environment whose acoustic characteristics do not change frequently. In our work, we focus on the room impulse response estimation framework from the point of view of specific use case, automatic speech recognition system. We propose a learning-based approach of estimating room impulse responses from a single speech recordings from an indoor environment. Using the estimated room impulse responses, we can augment reverent speech training data set by convolving clean speech data set with the estimated room impulse responses. We train automatic speech recognition system using our synthetic reverent speech training data and test the system on real-world recordings. We propose an encoder-decoder architecture to estimate the room impulse response from the reverent speech signal. Our encoder network extracts room impulse response features from the reverent speech, and our decoder network constructs room impulse responses from the extracted features. Our discriminator network is optimized to discriminate between the estimated room impulse response and the ground truth room impulse response for a given reverent speech data during training. The objective function of room impulse response estimator network consists of energy decay relief loss, modified conditional gain error, and mean square error. Energy decay relief error is used to match the energy distribution of the estimated room impulse response to the ground truth room impulse response over a set of octave frequency band. The conditional gain error is used to estimate room impulse response from the reverent speech using our room impulse response estimator that is difficult to differentiate from the ground truth to impulse response by the discriminator network during training. Mean square error is used to match the time domain representation of the estimator room impulse response and the ground truth room impulse response. We use relative weights, lambda EDR and lambda MSC to control the relative contribution of energy decay relief error and the mean square error. The discriminator objective function is maximized to differentiate between the estimated room impulse response from the reverent speech and the ground truth room impulse response. We generate around 98,000 one second duration synthetic training reverent speech data by convolving a subset of clean speech from the libre speech data set with real room impulse responses collected by Meta. For our acoustic evaluation, we created 5,000 test reverent speech data by convolving clean speech from the libre speech data set with test real room impulse responses collected by Meta. We compared our performance against a baseline model and the state of the art room impulse response estimator, FINS. We used four different acoustic metrics to evaluate our approach. They are log energy decay relief loss, early reflection energy loss, uh, mean square error and direct reverent ratio error. The following table shows 
that our proposed approach outperforms the state-of-the-art room impulse response estimator FINS. The following figure shows the time domain plot of the ground to room impulse response and the estimated room impulse response from our approach. We can see that the estimated room impulse response has similar macroscopic structure as the ground to room impulse response, while the fine structure differs from the ground to room impulse response. For the automatic speech recognition task, we use close talk speech data created using individual headphone microphone and the far field speech data created using single distance microphone in the AMI corpus. From the single distance microphone corpus, we sample 2000 different speech examples of approximately one second duration. We input the sample reverent speech to the FINS model and our proposed S2IR GAN and estimate the room impulse responses from the input speech. The closed talk individual headset microphone speech data is convolved with the estimated room impulse responses to create synthetic reverent speech training data. We train the modified Cardi ASR recipe with the synthetic training data and test the automatic speech recognition model on the real world reverent speech single distance microphone data. We also train the automatic speech recognition model using the unmodified individual headset microphone data as our baseline model. We use word error rate to evaluate the performance of the ASR system. Lower word error rate indicates the better performance. From the following table, we can see that our approach outperforms the state-of-the-art room impulse response estimator FINS by up to 6.9%. In summary, we present a method for improved estimation of room impulse responses in the context of far-free speech recognition. Our approach outperforms the state-of-the-art room impulse response estimator FINS on four different acoustic metrics, such as energy decay relief loss, early reflection energy loss, direct to ribbon ratio error, and mean square error. Our approach also shown to outperform FINS in downstream automatic speech recognition tasks. The main limitation of this work is that the network cannot capture the fine temporal structures of a room impulse response from a reverent speech. Thank you.